You're out there in the cold. What do you use to heat yourself up? Do you use the burning barrel? Or do you use the campfire with some wood burning something just to get that heat up? Oh, and that's actually a really good question. Of course, in seven days to die, once in a while, I get questions of how do I test out my bases. People come and ask me, say, hey, you know, my base didn't work out. How do I how do I verify it before I get Blood Moon Horde? It's like I played a Blood Moon Horde and it just broke. Everything just fell down and I got killed. Everything was trashed. How can I test it? And that's a really good question that even though I've touched on it at some points, I haven't really made a good video about it to really make that easier. So we're going to cover that today. And it's actually fairly straightforward. And this is where the burning barrel that we have here comes into play. And actually, don't you just like that sort of smoke coming out of it? And of course, the campfire. It's really weird that the campfire has hardly any smoke, but the burning barrel does. I mean, presumably we burn the, the same stuff in them. But before we get into that, if you enjoy my videos, leave me a subscribe. It's the only thing I ask for. Not begging, but I do appreciate it if you do. It's the only way I can keep on growing and provide all these videos for you and, of course, the whole community. So if you've been watching, you're not subscribed yet, maybe it's your first video, maybe it's your 10th, whichever it is, I would definitely appreciate it if you subscribe to me. But so we have, obviously, this time, what I'm going to be looking at, how do you test things out? And to do that, you need to have zombies. You can wait for a wandering horde, which basically means you might have to wait up to 24 hours or more, or you can, well, create your own. And this is something that uh, is also called Screamer Horde farming or just scream hordes because that's what we're going to do and the basics of that means that and you don't see that necessarily unless you are in a creative mode or debug mode like I am here you'll see barely it says six percent heat chunk don't worry about the minus 58 107 or the three events is basically what we're looking at is that six percent now when that reaches 100 and that's how the heat work it's not heat from you know the, the the campfire or anything it's heat that represents noise attraction action that brings in zombies to investigate when that hits 100 percent and now it's at 11 percent you get an 80 percent chance or risk of getting a screamer which means that if you create a lot of noise you generate generate a lot of heat and eventually you will have screamers so you can do that in uh, different ways you can go around Shooting, making a lot of noise. That will increase it. You see, every time I'm shooting here, so it's do that. every shot is one percent. Now that's going to be a lot of ammo for you to do that. You can do this. Shooting a little bit less. Here's another one. Every shot increases that heat. But we don't want to waste our ammo just to call in screamers. But you could, if I just go through a whole magazine here, eventually it will go up. But again, that's really, really expensive. So what we want is some cheap, easy way to do it. And two simple ways. Well, there's a few of them. Obviously, you could use torches and stuff like that. But the really simple ones is either you make a campfire. And of course, a campfire is really easy to make just some small stones so you put out a few of these ones and then of course you have to keep them fed with your fuel which is normally wood or wood stuff now this will give you a certain amount of time before it actually you need to refuel them which might be good in some cases another way to do that which is also really simple is to use the burning barrels which because they actually look really really good and the way to craft these ones is burning barrel you do need to have a workbench though and they do take forged iron the nice thing though is that you can put them down and you can pick them up the campfire you can't really easily pick up even if you put down a land claim block of course you can but you know who would want to put down a land claim block just because you want to call in some screamers you could if you have your horde base there but it's a little bit tedious now you have to take this one you have to pick it up and it's going to count down and stuff like that and you have to make sure that you get rid of the fuel blah 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 so it's a little bit tedious so having the burning barrels it's a really simple way. You put them down, you pick them up, and move them somewhere else. And what I normally do is, if I uh, want to make sure I don't get too many screamers, I might put some campfires. I'll put in some uh, fuel that makes sense. Let's say I do something like this. Put in some 10, 12, 20, 30 wood, and it'll keep running for a certain amount of time, and then it'll shut down, which means that after some time, it'll stop. So I don't have screamers coming all the time if I forget to remove something. What you can do with the burning barrels so is you just put them down, and you leave them down until you're done with all the screamers and then you basically go and pick them up with the campfire of course you can just turn off as well which is an added bonus but it's a little bit more permanent and not as convenient another bad thing about this one is that 
while you're standing on it, there we go, we're actually on fire, um, which of course can be really painful. Burning barrel, by contrast, doesn't actually set you on fire, but you look kind of cool as you're smoking. And as a general rule of thumb, the more you have, the better. So if you put down three, it's good, it'll slowly go up. If you put down six, you'll get more. If you put down, well, a lot more, like I did here, you'll definitely get a lot more smoke and you'll get a lot faster heat as well. And if you look at it right now, 60%. As you saw, the heat went up to 85% and now it's red because it will be indicating that something might be spawned. Of course, normally you don't see any of it. It's just because I'm here in debug mode. We're going to open up the command console as well, just so you can see what happens. And there you saw it flipped up or rather down to 10% because it hit 100% and a zombie screamer was spawned. It says it spawned at a certain uh, location. It's moving towards the point of interest. And let's see here if we can uh, locate it. It'll come from a random direction. Let's just uh, look around a little bit. I think it usually spawns around, I think, 80 to 100 blocks. Ah, there she is over there. If you spot her over there in the distance, give a little bit zoom in. We'll see the screamer is there. And she's coming in. Uh, it's not so easy to spot here in the snow biome, actually. She's a little bit easier in the forest, for instance. We'll see. Let's uh, have a look here. She's there. She's going towards this chunk. Towards where these things are. We'll see when she sees us. And she screamed. And this scream brings in a bunch of, well, a bunch of zombies. And that's, of course, dependent on your game stage. So higher game stage, you see it says game stage 353. And that's what it's bringing in. And it's basically coming up here to investigate. And if she keeps on screaming, we'll see a bunch of more ones. She'll scream a few times and uh, then she'll scream but won't call anything in. So this is basically how you bring in your zombies. And... Oh, she screamed and she brought in another screamer that then screamed and brought in even more. And this is what we call, and thank you for showing that off, this is what we call the screamer train. Screamers can bring in screamers that then bring in more screamers because they all scream uh, two, three, four times each and call in more zombies. You can end up with a ton of zombies if you don't kill them. If I just let this running, I mean, you can obviously go really high up until this zombie limit. So you can control it because if I start killing off the screamers, of course, there'll be no more. Except for, of course, the burning barrels, which will eventually call in more on their own as well. But the screamers will also call in more screamers and more zombies. So how does that actually help us testing? So I'm here at one of my bases. This is my vulture blender, actually, with an attached uh, a booby kill corridor. It works pretty well. Now, if you look at the heat now, it's at 88%. Let's put it like this. Maybe that shows it a bit better. 88.55%. I'm going to shoot here. See if we can get in. Another... Did I get a screamer? Yes, I got a screamer, so one was spawned in. And of course, I'm standing here. I'm just attaching the camera just to make it a little bit easier to uh, look around. You see, she's coming over there. And now she walked over there. So let's make some noise. All right, she heard me. So she's coming to investigate. And did she scream? No, not yet, but she is coming to investigate. See if she... We wanted to go up here on this ramp. Another shot. Okay, she's there. She hasn't screamed yet. She hasn't seen us. She knows something is around. Obviously, she can hear the noise here. And let's see here. There she goes. She screamed. And then she got bust here. We probably want to make sure we are turning this off. Right. Turn everything off. Turn it off. Because we don't want it to die. Please don't die. Okay, now she's going to bash that a little bit. It's okay. So she screamed and we should be getting, yep, we should be getting some. Oh, she screamed again. She gets more of them coming in. And now she fell down. So she should continue walking up here. And when she sees us, she will sometimes scream, depending on if she has enough time. But she'll be bringing in a bunch of other zombies. And let's speed up the, the game a little bit here just to make it a little bit faster. There's some more of them coming in. At daytime, it's a little bit harder at nighttime because everything will be running. Uh, and eventually, if you're lucky, you then get more zombies. Uh, sorry, more zombies. More screamers. Just now scream three times. You see, we have more and more coming in from around the neighborhood. And this allows us to actually see 
what happens when the zombies come in you'll see this specific um, uh, type of base uh, they come in here they actually want to fight and bash this block which means that we might have to redesign a little bit they also seem to be pushing each other which is fine and i can then turn on the different traps one by one i can turn on the electric fences i can turn on the blade traps just to see what really happens when zombies come in during the hold. And if i want to see it at night time then well I'll just do this at night time daytime i can also show what it actually does so i got a bunch of zombies here and let's say hey no i'm, I'm done with that i don't want to call in more so i take off my burning barrels and then all i need to do is make sure oh let's do that so we have normal speed I make sure I kill at least the screamers. The screamers are the only ones who will call in other zombies. The rest of them, of course, I might want to kill as well. But at least getting rid of... Oh, that shows another problem if they get up on a stack up and walk here really bad. So now I got a bunch of zombies here. As long as I don't make too much noise, I will not get any more screamers. But it allows me to really say, well, fine, let's do... Not this one. Uh, what about this one? Nope. Where's this one? Why am I not getting in yet? Well, at least I can show this one. So I can see what happens when the electric fences. Um, don't know what will happen to the blade traps. Let's uh, do a very quick. Do I have any wire tool? I do. Let's do this. Let's. Uh, yes. Oh, not this one. Let's do this one. This is a really good way to check out my blade trap, see what the issue is, and see how the zombies behave. And I can do this without risking myself to a big horde. Of course, if things don't work, I might have to make a run for it. But at least going for a run here and getting away from them is probably a lot easier than during a Blood Moon horde because I might get a few of them. And if I got a vehicle, even easier to just speed away. Which, of course, you can do if it's a Blood Moon Horde. But that's it. I'm going to make a run for it here. They will be coming after me. But anyway, I'm fast on my feet. But hopefully you enjoyed this uh, simple way of creating a Screamer Horde, Screamer Horde train and testing out your base. Special thanks to the great patrons supporting the channel. If you would like to join the Vedic community and support these videos, do follow the Patreon link.